Today we are here with our second video and the second part of cell organelles. Today we are going to learn in detail about ribosomes, one of the most important cell organelles found commonly in all prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Robinson and Brown in 1953 discovered ribosomes in the plant cells. Palade in 1955 discovered them in animal cells. The term ribosome was coined by Palladi. These organelles are made up of ribonucleic acids, commonly called as RNA and proteins. There are two types of ribosomes, free as well as fixed. The free ribosomes are found scattered in the cytoplasm and the fixed ribosomes are named so as they are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, hence called the rough endoplasmic reticulum, also referred to as RER. Let's learn the structure of a ribosome in detail. Under the light microscope, the ribosomes appear as dots, whereas under the electron microscope, they appear to have two subunits, a smaller subunit and a larger subunit. The smaller subunit is a region where the mRNA, also called as the messenger RNA, binds. The larger subunit is a region where the amino acids are linked to form long polypeptide chains. In prokaryotes, that is in the primitive forms, the ribosome present is of the 70S type. That is, the smaller ones with a 30S and a larger subunit with 50S. Whereas in the eukaryotes, the ribosome present is of the 80S type with a smaller subunit of 40S and a larger subunit of 60S. If several ribosomes are attached to the same messenger RNA, this structure would be called as a polysome. S is a common letter used to represent the Swedberg unit. It is named after the Swedish chemist Theodor Swedberg. It is a sedimentation coefficient used to measure how fast a particle of a given size and shape settles to the bottom of a solution. Let's now see the role of messenger RNA, mRNA, ribosomal RNA, rRNA and transfer RNA, tRNA in protein synthesis. Ribosomal RNA forms the structure of ribosome. The messenger RNA which is formed in the nucleus enters the cytoplasm and later attaches to the complementary ribosomal RNA of the ribosomes. They carry the coding sequence for protein synthesis. The transfer RNA carries or transfers amino acids to the ribosomes for protein synthesis. This depends upon the codons on the messenger RNA. Hence, with the help of these different kinds of RNA, in the ribosomes, proteins are synthesized. That is the main function attributed to ribosomes. Thank you children for watching and for any queries please do comment. Have a nice day.